Welcome back to Primetime, everybody. We're here for episode 13 of our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, on our last episode, in, in kind of a thing that's become pretty bog standard for us and how we're approaching the game, um, we did a little bit of exploration, and then we did some some story progression, some story questing after that. So uh, we started out by uh, by getting to Piper's glowing tree of lights and, and getting that working for him so that he'd come back and join, a, and join the musical troupe to help awaken the great fairies. So um, proving that I, I, of course, make everything more complicated than it needs to be like every freaking time I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out um, a way to get the troop up the hill by going around and making a new um, making a, a new horse drawn card and trying to figure out how to get up the hill when really the answer was I just needed to drive over the giant rocks using the big Zoni wheels that the freaking gave me and I was very frustrated um, it was very annoying but I did it uh, so after unlocking the second tier of equipment upgrades, uh, we started exploring the southwest part of the map a little bit more, uh, getting another Skyview Tower in the Gerudo region up and uh, Gerudo region up and running, and so we can see what's there. We explored some of the Sky Islands, though we didn't really find anything of note other than that there was a shrine up there that we used. Uh, we started gliding now, then towards the desert itself, and I saw something sitting on top of a rock pillar, and I couldn't quite tell what it was, and so I said, you know what? Let's just get a little closer. Uh, it, it, it wasn't until I got too close to veer away that I realized it was another flame gliok, and I like, I hated it. Um, but of course we had to fight it because we got too close. Uh, it took me three attempts because he's a bastard, but we beat it, and that's two gliocks down. And I think I needed fewer bomb arrows this time around, so that's a victory. I'm getting better at this point. Um, and we just continue our exploration. Uh, we went uh, further out into the desert. We discovered and defe defeated another Talus. Uh, we found the Bubble Gem Collector dude who allowed us to turn in some gems to get some interesting gear. We got a, a gear that basically allows us to put on a... Um, uh, basically, it gives us the effect of that instead of taking heart damage, it does rupee damage, which was kind of neat. Uh, and then we reached the desert itself, and we found ourselves enveloped by a sandstorm that has forced the Gerudo to retreat from their village into the shelter and just bar travelers from coming inside because, well, of course, they don't like travelers. They don't like the Vo. Uh, we ended up sneaking in a hole in the wall, though, because we're sneaky like that. We're channeling our inner solid snake. And uh, we were finally recognized... And uh, for, for being Link and directed to find Riju, who is the leader of the tribe, of course, and who is out in the ruins outside of the village trying to train so that she could find a way to help the Gerudo tribe. Uh, we ended up reaching the ruins through an underground path, and we found Riju practicing calling down bolts of lightning from the sky to smite her enemies, and she wasn't doing so great at it, unfortunately. Her aim was a little off, but we ended up talking to her, and she said, you know what would be really help, really helpful? Um, I need, I need a, something I can, I can link up to, I can, I can kind of t range find with. Can you, can you shoot an arrow and I'll like use that as like a little mini lightning rod to hit things? And he says, yeah, sure, that sounds good. We did it work for famously, it was awesome. Um, but before we could celebrate, a scout from the village arrived to tell us that a horde of monsters from the sandstorm, which we, they've taken to calling the Gibdos, were attacking the oasis and they begged us to come help. So joining in the defenses, um, the pair of us made really short work of the monsters because the lightning um, is strong enough to actually strip the strong outer armor that the Gibdos had on their on their hides away so that the Gerudo themselves could fight them and destroy them. And it's actually really cool because fire can do the same thing for us. So we can throw like fire fruit at things. And the Gibdos are really nice because when you beat them, they drop Gibdos bones, which are extremely brittle, but extremely powerful weapon attachments. And so this it sounds like a really good idea for me to potentially work on maybe farming some of those up at some point, because they sound like they would be really amazing attachments for arrows. Um, so now before we could do anything else, though, because proving that there's never any rest for us, uh, we receive word that there's more trouble at Gerudo Village itself. So it's time for us to dash back and hopefully find our way to what I'm assuming is going to be the Thunder Temple. So everybody, let's buckle up 
Let's get started and see what we can do to help the Gerudo. Hey, Nico, how you doing? Dang, missed your reaction to the Givdos then. Didn't realize you had gone to the Gerudo Desert last session since I went to sleep early. No worries, man, no worries. Good to have you here. I hope you're having fun still. Um, wasn't really much of a reaction. I was like, huh, those are weird. Oh, shit, those are Gibdos. I thought they were Redead at first, which I was very close. Like, Redead and Gibdos are extremely similar. Um, oh, that's right. I keep forgetting that you don't, you don't change... Because, like, you can, you, you know, you don't change the, um, the power using left stick. I keep doing that. And I'm not sure why. But I wanted to try out something. So I had an, I had an epiphany. That, um, I can do a better flying thing. And I want to try to build off of this four fan setup that I was using before. And I want to see if that this is an idea that I can use to get um, a bit more transportation and a little bit more control over things. And so, like, what I figured is I can do... I can do a fan... And then control station. And then I do another fan... Here, this is pretty much our standard build so far. Um, that is not lined up. This one is not. And then what I can... Uh, that one's not lined up either. But it's a little bit better than the other one was. That's pretty good. All right. And then what we can do... is I can position this rather than flat on the ground, I put it at an angle. And this is where it's going to get tricky, I think. Because now I do the same thing with the other one, just position it at the opposite angle on the front. Because what it'll do is that I can use kind of almost like a helicopter. I can use, I can lean forward to go down some, and I can lean back to go up a bit. Because it'll t change the position of the fans just ever so slightly. I actually got that in the wrong... I gotta rotate that. Whoops. That's pointing the wrong way. Thank you. I think... Wait. Um, or is this, is this one wrong? Um, I gotta think about how this works. It's this way, I think, right? I'm just picturing it in my head. I'll have to look at it after I'm done. Yep, okay, that's kind of the way I wanted it. Because now when I, it'll change the orientation on the front and back ones ever so slightly. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. So let's actually get it into a little bit more open spot so I don't, like, bonk a tree right away. And this is what I wanted to try. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, son of a... Okay, so I think Unobo's the problem here. Unobo's causing it to tilt. But yeah, it's going down. And I don't need to just drop it. So actually, if we turn off Unobo... Oh, uh, it's really fucking hot out here, apparently. Um, uh, let's go ahead and use one of these. That's better. 
That should give us just a little bit more to work with. Um, it's not, not amazing. It's still having a hard time getting down. Because I think that there's a lot of up thrust still going on. But as you can see, I'm not climbing into the stratosphere. And we're already here at uh, Gerudo Village. Okay, so actually, that's not helping us. It's not helping us do the landing. All right, so the landing is still very rough. I'm still working on shit, but I think that's a really nice... It's a really nice upgrade from what I was doing, you know? Anywho, what, what's going on here, Riju? What's going on? Look, Link. There's a Gibdos hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakara Bazaar. Both the hive and these tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time, too. But it's not the only hive, uh, the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. <laughs> So when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. All right, so those that the the hive she's talking about is that mushroom thing, and what we can do is we can use the lightning from her to actually take care of it. Come. Oh, where are we coming? To where I am. Okay. Uh. Again, you heard it, didn't you? Come, is it calling out to us? Hmm? Lady Riju, Link, is something the matter? I thought, it's nothing. Hmm. Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. Yes, ma'am. I think I've got enough bows. Right? Yeah, I, I should be good. The Sand Shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos in their hives. Strange events keeps happening one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. Hmm. There's something bigger going on, but for now we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speaking with Buliara and the soldiers and help... Speak with Buliara and the soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Yes, ma'am. Oh... Do you have questions about preparing for the battle? Uh, what's the plan? Oh. Talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. Okay. Oh. Pat is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could, reinf we could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. You have questions about the preparing for the battle? No, I think I'm good for right now. I think we know how to fight the Gibdos. Very well. In that case, please report to Lady Riju. When the battle begins, I will be forced focused on protecting her. For the sake of the Gerudo, nothing can happen to her. Well, actually, let's start with supplies over here first. Mm hmm. Lots of supplies. Flame Mentor, Mirror, Stay. Whoops. Oops. Okay, about six arrows. I've got plenty of arrows. I think I'll be good. Ooh, weapons. Ooh. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? Yeah, sure. Oh. There are three gates. From the palace, the north gate is ahead, the west gate is to the left, and the east gate is right. I've got an idea for a barricade. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set it up at? Um, East. 
If we could do east and west gate, that'd be great, and then we'll man the north gate Ooh. for um, attacks. Okay, the barricade has been set up at the east gate. That should slow down any enemies that attack that position. I mean, ideally, the best way to go about this would be to... Um, would be for them to hold the line at each of the entrances, and then we just take out the hives, you know? Ooh, a question mark, though. Gerudo Bow, outstanding. Um, yeah, we can drop that. Lots of arrows, yeah! Um, Gerudo Scimitar, all right. Hmm. That's really good for attack, but, um, Gerudo Shield. Like, what? Well, that's my weakest shield, so no, I guess I'm not taking that. Uh, what's in the chest? Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. And last. Lots of electrical stuff here. All right, so is that it for... Oh, there's more stuff over here. Ooh. Ooh, thank you. I wonder if that respawns. That'd be a great way for sticking around or for um, for coming back to resupply stuff. Hey, you got new boxes. No new arrows, damn. Fruit bow is one of the sniping bows. I mean, I'm good with that. I'm not great at sniping, but that's cool. Anything in here? No, just uh, just a little, just a quarters area. Okay. Well, that was a cool bit of supplies. That was awesome, actually. I'll have to remember that for later. Because I bet they respawn. Uh, and then I guess let's talk to the troops. Ah. It's fine. I'm. If you're going to fight alongside us, just don't do. Try not to get in the way. The best thing to do is make sure all our defenses are ready for what's coming. Mm. I'd wanted to attack electricity-emitting material to our weapons, kind of like Lady Riju's ability. But they are rare, valuable items that have yet to be taken from electric lizaflos. Uh. So instead, we'll try using materials that generate fire. Maybe those will work? Here's hoping. Oh, you're not Teak. Um, are you Teak? Mm. No. Oh, you are, aren't you? Oh. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long before we need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We could spread them out to lightly cover all the gates, or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position. Oh. We need to decide who to send where. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, Spear troops? Oh. To the west gate. Oh. Oh. The sword troops to the west gate as well. Ah. And let's put the cannon troops ah. up at the north gate. Actually, no. Oh. Let's put them at the west gate. We'll cover the north gate on our own. Ooh. Wait, did I select the Ooh. wrong gate? Oh, I meant east Ooh. gate. I want to go to east gate, my bad. I'm glad I could redo that because I, I just messed that up. Ah. Okay. That should do it, right? Because I presume that me and Riju will be kind of a force for this, which means that we should be able we should be able to cover the North Gate on our own. Worst case scenario, even if it's just me out there, I've got enough fire fruit. Um, I've got enough friggin' fire fruit over here somewhere. Um, that I can just deal with a lot of Gibdos, a lot of Gibdos, because fire fruit will hurt them as well. So. See what happens. 
Are the preparations complete? Yeah, sure. Here we go. Link. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... I'm sorry, is she wearing heels for this fight? Ma'am, that is not very practical. <laughs> not at all. Hmm? Oh, here we go. Oh, those are creepy. Situation report! Large number of Gibdos are moving to attack the town! Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this. Alright, so we're in charge of the North Gate, Riju. Uh. Uliara, they have the town surrounded. Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them out in one battle, hives and all. Yeah. Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Oh. Mm. Everyone, protect our chief, protect our town. Okay, here we go. Monsters have appeared outside town. Shore up the defenses at the gate. All right, we're going to switch to our weakest bow. Enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. Stop them. Can we hit the hive yet or no? Okay, so is the hive not vulnerable yet? Okay, like, I'm trying to understand what the rule is for what I can hit. Oh, that would help if I actually hit it. Yes, there we go, hide I down! Alright, so you two, you got, you're gonna have to cover this entrance. Enemies I gotta get over... Alright, well, that's the easiest way to get over there. I thought that was a phase for a second. Flying enemies from the hive at the east gate. Flying enemies! Thank you for throwing that, whoever did that. Okay, that is the world's most terrifying butterfly. What the shit? I will take the Gibdos bones because those are really good for, for arrows. The enemies won't stop. Enemies are nearing the center of town. Prepare to attack. Yeah, butterfly, did you not see that? I'll see if I can find another one. There, right there. There's one, Kirby. See? Oh. I'm just, I'm done. Y'all are just going to hell. Oh my god, it's not dead yet! Gibdo wing! A wing that catches the light. Arrows and throw weapons fly farther with his item. Oh boy! 
fucking butterfly wings on these things. Jesus. Just when I thought Gibdos weren't terrifying enough. I'm at least picking up all the all the stuff though. Oh, see shit, there's another one! Oh, okay, well now I'm getting all this stuff. There's more over there. Because gift of bones are really worth having. Just for the simple fact that I can just do tons yeah, of damage with arrows using them. Yeah, bastard. I'm sorry, crawly ones? The only ones I've seen are these ones. Oh, Christ almighty. That's the last of the hives. All we have to Thank do you. Now clear out the rest of oh, there's the, the crawly ones. Cool. And I mean, by cool, not at all. Oh my god, Apoc. These things are terrifying. I hate these things so much. Wait, where are they? Are they flying? Oh, there's a flying one. Hi. Oh, I missed. Got it! Sorry, right, guys. I got... I'm sorry. Sorry, right, girls. I got this. I got this one. Just stay at the gates. We got it. Not gonna lie, I love her power, though. Her power is insane. Link, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Hmm. I noticed that the hives crumbled into the sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some sort of connection to the sand. Or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. hmm. And then there's that voice that you and I both heard. A voice in lightning. This reminds me of something. Hmm. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Yeah, they have some pretty sick attachments on their weapons. Like, I'm not not gonna lie, I would dig having them. Uh, oh, Gibdo Bone. Yeah, because uh, Gibdo Bones... Like, look how much attack power they give. They give 40 attack power. Like, I have no idea how much actual, like, damage they could take on, like, swinging it. But putting that on an arrow? Oh, shit, that's a big hit. So farming Gibdos would be a good idea at some point, if it's possible. Also, the guard captain makes a comment if you paired the spear troops with the barricade. Oh, is you make a comment how, like, oh, that's a really smart way to do it. Or something like that. <laughs> Because, I mean, that totally makes sense. No idea why I've been so sneezy tonight. Alright, so can I, like, not open the door? Or is there a switch? Do I talk to you? You fought well against the Gibdos. I'm glad you're alright. It would have been unacceptable for, for an important guest of Lady Riju, even a Vaux, to be injured. You may pass through here. Get some rest and recover after such a fierce battle. Oh, okay. So you gotta talk to her. Cool! Um... <laughs> Back here to the mural. Yep, I expected this was gonna be important. Oh, Link, you came. Look at the mural on this wall. It is thought to have been painted by the ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using the shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, mm. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. 
Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me. I await you. Hmm. That mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words reminded me of this mural. Hmm. This image must represent a location of some kind. And the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. Okay, so back to back with the throne. So that tells me we get out to where the throne is and we look out the window behind it, right? Oh, it's a metal barrel with the electric weapons. Oh, that actually would have been a really good combination if I thought of that, Kirby. That's a good oh. idea. Yes, yeah, she's, she's pretty awesome. The Chieftain is pretty awesome. The fact that she dual wields scimitars with that skill level and also can call down lightning is pretty damn impressive. Okay, back to back with the throne. Okay, so that actually might be hard to do then. All right, let's... Did they actually tell us what it was said? Saying the back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. Okay. So like looking out there just straight away, I see pillars. I'm assuming there are at least five. Uh, oh, well, here's our, we're supposed to come out here. Oh, unbearable code. Oh no, it's cold. Perfect. Um, oh, it's actually probably below us, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably below us because this is now the, the bad place. Um, oh. Is that supposed to be moved for a reason? Where does that, is that, that's also, ooh, okay. That thing moves? Yeah, it does! It looked like it was off-center to me. And that's what made me think that it was, uh, that it moved. Also, hello. This is behind the mural. So... I wish I could just... Oh, hello. Oh! Oh, it's another way to get in! Okay, that's cool. All right, so... The writing on it says, in the back-to-back -back with the throne witness with red pillars across a vast sea, unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. The sand shroud makes it impossible to explore the Gerudo Desert, except maybe if you could soar in the sky like a little, like a Rito. So, I guess the question I have, are we supposed to go out there? We might just have to go out there. Doesn't actually do anything. That was going to be a secret in there. It might still be important. The fact that it, but though the fact that it lets you get in there is actually kind of cool. So, here's here's what I'm thinking. Let's just see if we can get there, because that's clearly pillars. How important they are is up for debate. Um, also, can I grab that? Bolt fruit! We're just going to try to keep going straight. Let's see if we can get up higher. Oh, come on. Whee! Where is the... Are those the pillars I was looking for? Oh, there's a shrine up top! There's a shrine up top of Gerudo Town. Let's actually go get that. Because that would be really, really useful to have. I was wondering where the shrine was near, near there. Um, but, okay, absolutely, those are the, that is absolutely the, um, 
the pillars it's talking about. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I, I hope. I think. Wow, you get really turned around fast in this. Hey, Rasta, how we doing, buddy? Good to see you. Now, is this going to take me all the way to the top or just... Okay, it's going to take me here. All right, that's not bad. Oh, pff, actually, that is almost the top. It's almost completely to the top. Yay, shrine! All right, what's our puzzle for this one? And also, this gives us a little bit better area to glide from to get to those pillars. Buried light. Okay, um, buried in the sand. Can we use... Can we use a fan to blow the sand away? Yes, you can. Very cool. Yay, chest! Okay, so this is probably going to be an important thing to know um, for the upcoming temple, I'm thinking. Um, blow into this? No. Well, let's get the chest at least. Small key. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's we we probably need to open the door. You're right. Today you went outside because heat waves suck, and it was so nice to go outside in the night to cool off from the heat because you don't want to open the window in your room because literally flies will fly in. That is a terrible thing. Flies in your house is is not fun. I'm glad you got a chance to be outside, though. It's nice to head outside when it's been hot for a while. I, I love taking night walks for the same reason, Rasta. I'm probably going to take a walk after we're done tonight, just because... Ah! Hello. <laughs> okay. I forgot I'm using weapons that are really strong. Okay, we got a mirror. What the sh? Who shot me? Who did that? That rat fink is shooting through the damn grate. I guess I gotta get the fan back. Where you live has heat advisory starting tomorrow? Uh, it's gonna be wet tomorrow here, and that's. I'm not looking forward to that. You're almost ready for the real thing. Hey, Kagekami, thank you for the resub for two months, my man. How you doing? Appreciate the Prime sub. Could have used that any place on Twitch and you decide to use it here. I feel very honored. Oh, I see a secret passage. That needs more wind. I'm the homie. Oh, man. I do my best. I do my best. I appreciate having awesome people like yourself here. Ah! He's got a fan, too. Look out! My fan isn't strong enough. He's got a stick fan. Okay, so clearly there is sunlight coming in. 
Ah, okay, there's an overhang, which means I'm supposed to do this. I shoot. Aha! Uh, fudge bumps, cause that needs a fan. Oh, there's a fan. I found a fan. Woohoo! So this is how you actually clean up your house. You just get a giant fan and blow everything away until people don't notice that your house is dirty. Like, it makes perfect sense to me. All right, we got to do this. Um... No, that's not going to do it. I need... No. I need to get it mostly... Yeah, it's not going to be level with the ground. All right, so we got to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to have to get up here. I got to figure out how to aim it down, it looks like. Yeah. So. All right. Is that going to work? No, it's not. Can I build like a leaning tower of fans? Is that a is that a thing I can do? Like build fan on top of fan on top of fan and then put on top a not fan. Like is that a thing? Is is that legal? I don't know. We're going to find out. There's every likelihood that I'm complicated in this way more than I need to. Like, why else would they give us, like, 50 fans? Well, that was interesting. Too fat. Fan on a stick. There's, there's no way this works, right? There's no way this works. Oh wait, I'm an I'm an idiot. I forgot I can just hold this up. God, I'm stupid. Why am I so dumb? Why am I I told you I was complicating it more than I needed to. Every freaking time I do this. All right, that's actually four, right? Or eight total, nice. That's uh, two parts of a stamina wheel, that's awesome.
I need 12 more to get a full stamina wheel. Excellent. All right. Yeah, I can see on the map that thing directly behind me is where I want to go. Or behind the shrine, I guess, technically. So what we're trying to get to is that right there, because there are four pillars, absolutely. Three of them are standing, and I bet there's probably a fifth one behind there. So here's how we're going to do this. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, whoop, whoop, wrong button. It'd be hot outside. Um... All right, um, we go. Or give those. You cheese the chest room, but the rest of the shrine was easy. I mean, it's not too bad. I just over, I just made things overly complicated because that's how I roll. Um, that's a breakable thing. Oh, it's hot again. I really need a second piece of gear to help out with heat. Um, can I jump on this or do I need to? OK, I actually need to break it, break it. Got it. Bombs away! Is it telling us the direction to go? Also, is that a Korok, maybe? No, not a Korok. Is that maybe how you're supposed to break it if you don't have, um... Don't have a, um, bomb? Just keep going, following the light beam. That, that should work, right? It's actually easier to see the light beam this way, in the gloom. I think that that's another one right there. Yeppers! All right, so wait, um... Is there something here I'm not seeing? Okay, so this is another set of pillars. You know what? I'm a dung. I'm a dingus. So what's through here? Anything? Okay, so what? Do I like just keep going? That doesn't feel right. The light is getting very hard to see now. As in, I don't see it at all. It tapered out. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to get it to do something. But what? Because I didn't see anything jumping out at me as far as what I could do with it. What's up? Get him, you know, Bo! Murderize him! Nice job, Tulin! You're my bro. Oh, Rusty Broadsword. I thought it said Royal Broadsword for a second. Like, those are awesome. Okay, so this is where... 
it was going. It's not a power thing because powers, they, they let you do these in any order. So what am I missing here? Let's put together our little flying machine and see if that gets us anywhere. Uh, where was the thing? Oh, did we not save it? Shit. Oh, there it is. Um, sure, close enough. It's upside down, but we'll take it. Oh, whoops. Get a little bit higher above there. There we go. I guess let's just go take a look at this one over here and see if it gets us any difference. Uh, or I guess anything different. I feel like that this is probably one of the last ones we're supposed to go, or maybe the third one. But, um, uh, but actually, maybe I see, oh, I see a stone bit that we can break. And a turntable. Son of a gun. Okay, maybe this was the next one we were supposed to go to. Uh, or maybe... Maybe not! Because, um... <laughs> that's not very helpful. Also cold again. Because, yeah, that doesn't produce any... light. Anything in here? No, just the sticks. All right. Really gonna make me climb out of it, okay. Ascend is so picky about placement. It really is. Okay. So clearly, uh, we use the sticks to turn this. Oh, can I take this? Can I move? Um, no, I can't. All right, damn. I can't. I thought I could take it with me. That would be awesome. Oh, okay. I think I see how this is supposed to work. So you put this up high enough after engaging it. And then you stick a stick to it. Or, well, put a stick on it, I guess. And then I can take the stick and bring it up. Oh, I'm going to need to grab the platform, too, to get it up high enough. I do see a shrine out in the distance, too, and we'll dress that in a minute, I'm thinking. Um, not right this second, though. That's handy. That That's handy, actually. I kind of wish I'd known about that before. That's really handy. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Really? I, it's too far away? I gotta get it just a little bit higher, apparently. Oh! The stick prevented it from moving up. Lame. To trade away the many uh, Zoras uh, you have so far, and you have two things of note. You got a foreign language Zora, so things will be slightly more convenient. And as far as I can tell, someone was gracious enough to put a legitimate shiny into Wonder Trade. So legitimate shiny is a jump up. Ooh, that's very nice. That's awesome, Kirby. Okay, got the stick. Said stick. Then goes on to this. And then we can push. Which doesn't really do anything for us right now. Because we can't really see where things are going. So... The problem is still, we're not quite sure what to do with that beam over there. There's no way to redirect it as far as we can tell. One eternity later. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? What is that doing? Is that actually raising it up? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm not wearing the... I'm not wearing the... This. Is that actually doing anything, though? I think it is, but I can't tell. I don't think it is. I don't think that's going up. Let's just put the lever for this tower in a nondescript part of the desert that you can't really see it until you're up on it almost. I don't think it's actually doing anything in this direction. Let's try the other direction. Ah, okay. This is so fucking stupid. This is so unbelievably stupid. This is so stupid. That took me... like an hour to, f to, to notice that stupid ass thing. Like, I'm legitimately annoyed because, like, nothing about that stands out. God, that's so stupid. I think that I have it done because I think I have the other I had the other one moved in the correct position already. Maybe. Uh, no, not quite. Never mind. Not quite. I'm not quite done. All right, well, now we know what we need to do. I think I'm actually going to experiment with something I wanted to try. I'm going to do two fans and a control stick, because I had an epiphany. That when I'm doing the building for this, the problem is that going up and down is hard because there is too much... Um, there's too much 
thrust from the side fans. What happens if I just did the two fans in the front and back? What happens if I did that? And then... I did... That? Does that line it up the way I want it to? I think it does, yeah. Does this give me the same... Does this give me what I'm thinking it gives me? Find out! Oh. Ah! Well, that was... a terrible... first... flight. <laughs> I don't know if that was just the uneven ground, or if that's just how everything went. But, yeah, that, that was a thing. Can we try that again with, like, a real bit of flying? Oh, shit. Yeah, I think it's working! Oh, shit! Um, uh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not! Yeah, okay, maybe not. Did Yunobo just fuck that over? Was that the problem? Or is maybe... Oh, it's off kilter. I see, alright, I see. Same problem as the other thing I was doing. Alright, let's see. I need to do that. Because if I look at it, it's just... So slightly out of position. That's the problem, I think. That might be better. Might be. Sort of. Except you know those being a problem. This, this kind of works. It definitely has more up and down control. It has a shit ton of up and down control. Okay, and it seems to fly relatively straight, so... Okay, I'm going to need to play around with this one. Yeah, it, it does exactly what I thought the other one was going to do, actually. Ah, shit, it's not... It's not got the thing on it anymore. Um... I had to do more... Eat food. Damn, I gotta do this whole crap again where I gotta bring the... The, the steak up. Ugh... I'm annoyed by this freaking puzzle. But it's at least turning for sure. I can see that. A little bit more. Oh, nope. There it goes. We build a triangle, everyone. I hate this stupid puzzle. It's so stupid. Well, whoa, what? Oh, the thunder. That must be the Thunderstone. Okay. I figured it all out, Riju. No thanks to you. We are going to go ahead and drop down to say hi to Riju. Let her know that we have uh, figured out her puzzle while she's just been staring at the damn mural because... 
Frigger, fragger, whatever. I swear to God, is she not? Are, are you kidding? Are you not? Hit? God damn chieftain. Screwing with me. She's not even here. She's just in the center, isn't she? What ifs? Um, I guess I can go get my thing back rather than build another one. I'm still so annoyed with this puzzle. I'm going to go back to the bot and I'm going to count how many times I just walked past that thing. And it's going to be like 30. Wait, where's my... Oh, did it, like, disappear because I got too far away from it? Was that the problem? That's annoying. Yeah, okay, I can see it's not balanced right. It's definitely not even. I wonder if it... Is it really that finicky? All right, I guess let's head out to the center and uh, see what Riju's got for us. Well, hello, Zelda. How are you today? Are, are you doing anything crazy again? Link. Hmm. Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda. Is it really? Did you really see Zelda, Riju? Did you? What? Well, she's gone. I really hope that the, the temple itself takes less time than that stupid puzzle did. Where did Zelda go? Hmm. I saw the lights of the red pillars and hurried here as quickly as I could. It cannot be coincidence that we've seen someone who looked like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another time. Oh? Did you solve the mural's riddle and cause this to appear? I'm impressed. If I remember correctly, the mural said unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. Oh. Maybe my lightning strike is the key. That was easy. I hope the rest of it is that easy. That's a big temple! Holy shit! That's not good. That's not good. That That's a Gibdos hive. We'll have to fix that. You ready to help? Riju's power of lightning. When Riju's R is charged, you can call on her for a lightning attack. Okay, so you gotta tell her to do it, just like everybody else. Alright, cool. Well, I guess let's go take on, uh... The hive. Oh, there's two hives and then a central door. I see some sort of fruit over here. Fire fruit. Oh, spicy pepper. How far can that reach? Can it just keep going forever and ever and ever? Oh, she walks with you. Got it. Lightning Temple. The Mural's Myth. Risen from the Sands. Okay, so this is our last temple. I don't know what happens after this. Are we waiting for the Gibdos to come out? Oh, unbearable cold. Oh, no. Because it's nighttime. Or maybe do I just shoot that one and just cut the middleman out? Oh. 
That that didn't work. Uh, do I gotta get closer, maybe? Okay. I, I shot the thing. Lightning. Am I supposed to just go up and just ignore this? Bye, Rishu. I'll see you in a bit. Like, it would feel weird if that, if I was supposed to get up. Yeah, something don't feel right. Oh, there's a marker here. Okay. There's chests here. What's in the chest? Yep. Mirrors, okay. So, light puzzles are coming, it sounds like. Ah, crap. It's a blood moon. I will take the ruby, though. Thank you very much. Plant. <laughs> All right, so clearly it wants me to get inside to get to that center, to where that point is. It doesn't want me to be up top. Got it. All right, well, let's head back down. Yeah, this is actually highly convenient. We got up close to these. We can't damage them. Yay, blood moon! Lo, the blood stained moon shines upon the land. Yeah, yeah, I know. Can I skip this? Thank you. There we go. Everything about this fucking place just feels obtuse and just not making sense. Because I've been shooting those fucking things... ...the, the entire time that I've been using Riju. And now, all of a sudden... The lightning does not. Now it fucking works. Oh, 
Okay, I'd like to recall now. I would like to recall right now. Oh, shit! It's the boss already! be responsible for all this. Come on, let's take it down together. <laughs> In my defense, I shot that stupid ass thing the first time. And it appeared and the arrow just went right through it. Yeah. Does that mean it's like the other Yes, I hope so. I certainly hope so. It's, it's right in front of me. I got it. It's right here. I promise. Ow, 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 ow. My face, my face, my face. It looked like the arrow went right through it when I was watching it, Kirby. Oh, that, oh that's going to be bad. Ow. That's lame. Oh, god damn it. At least the arrow missed so it didn't strike lightning somewhere else. Uh, I am going to uh, eat some food so that I cannot die. And also maybe get a attack buff. Ow, you stupid mother... I'm really glad that I ate the food because I would have died. Why are we fighting? Is, is this really it? We don't need to do anything else after this? Oh, hello. Hi. Phase two? Are we Why are we fighting the boss as early is my question. It's running away. No, never mind. No, it's not. It is not. I don't... No, okay, maybe it is. Maybe it's running away. Hmm. It fled up towards the roof. Maybe there's some way to go up it after inside. Uh, after it inside the structure. Hmm. Come on, Link. Let's look for a way in. I mean, I could just fly up there. Would that be so terrible? No thanks, I'm coming inside. Alright, so we've got Zonai devices, potentially. I'm thinking there's going to be some fans in here. Or a flame emitter. Okay, I guess we're going to turn the sand into glass. Oh, um, Korok Frond, Guster. Uh, that's unfortunate. I don't want to drop these, but sure, I guess we're dropping that. Because this will be way more efficient, I think, to get rid of the, uh... Alright, we might want to hold on to this. This is probably going to be highly useful for the entire dungeon. Oh, uh oh, what's, what's trying to kill us? Please don't kill me. Hello? That's a torch. I think we're good. Oh, it's dark in here. Welcome to the Cave of Wonders. I'm kind of getting that vibe here. Lightning Temple, first floor. Oh, that was just the prelude, wasn't it? That was just the prelude to this. Uh. I think I'm certain that the mural we saw in town was trying to guide us here. I believe we'll also find whoever that voice 
we've been hearing belongs to. Like, can we just... Why can't we just fly up? The monster fled at the top of this temple. So how do we get up there? Uh, well, I would just fly, typically. That's how I do things. This will at least give us a teleport spot. All right, so... What do they want us to do? The elevator doesn't have enough power. I'm guessing four... sides? Hey, the floor started to rise, then slam ba back down. I'm guessing four sides, four puzzles. So we got to get current to come back to this. Daughter. Daughter of the Gerudo. This platform connects to the very top of this temple. Mm-hmm. Use your power to charge the four batteries, and it will function once more. Okay. So we just got to find four batteries. He One of them looks to be, like, right in front of us, though. Okay. I heard the voice very clearly just now. It's calling to me. Have fun. Oh, boy. Thanks, Kirby. It said that I should use my power to charge the four batteries. Mm. The monster we fought outside earlier fled to the top of this temple. And the voice that has been speaking to us at the platform should be able to take us all the way up there. If that's true, we could corner the monster at the top. We might also figure out who's talking to us and why. Mm. Okay, Link, we need to get to the very top. To start, we should do what the mysterious voice suggested and try to find those four battery devices. Okay. Well, one of them is in there behind a locked door. All right. Let's take a look at our map and figure out where the different um, devices are. So we've got seven levels. Shit. All right. None of them are on B1. We got second floor has got one of them. Third floor has got another. Fourth floor has got a last one. But there's three other floors we got to worry about. Though the seventh floor is looks like just the top. I'm guessing that we need to reach the sixth floor and then drop down to get to the one that's on the second floor. Just looking at stuff. So maybe third floor is our first stop. Um, let's take a look over here. We'll take a look over here just to be sure. But that's my guess. Second floor. Oh, hi. You got more Zona. You got him? Another friggin' captain, I think. Jesus. Damn. I'm gonna bust through all my friggin' weapons the way we're going. Alright, so yeah, it looks like I gotta drop down on this one. But that was not unexpected. We've seen those rooms before. So let's go. We can't go forward. We can't go to this side. We can potentially go over. No, there's no way over there, too. So. But there is a light thing that we'll probably have to come back to. There's a right, right there. I can see there's a, a light beam thing. Okay, floor three. Is this already floor four? Yep. Four floor, or floor four. Uh, okay, so we're gonna wanna bounce some, we're gonna wanna bounce stuff here, all right. And then it doesn't go any higher. All right. We need to figure out, I think, how to do the sun stuff first. Right? Unless... Can I ascend? I can! 
I think that's a corridor. It is! Hello? I should probably put out a new weapon. Let's grab this bad boy. Did y'all help? Okay, or I'll just do it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Construct three. All right. And what's going on with this? This is... Okay, we're just going to walk through here. <gasps> ah. That's how the sun comes in. Or, well, the light. And then I'm assuming that we need to recall these in a way that lines them up. Oh, I, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, good enough for me. Okay, I just gotta wait. I thought I was gonna have to line it up to start bouncing things around, as opposed to just hit it once. Oh. I am supposed to make it go together. Um. Oh no, it just didn't do enough. It didn't line up for long enough time. Got it. There's our first puzzle complete. Uh oh, that seems rather dangerous. This thing is going to be a problem. No. Okay, so I can't recall that, but I can stick these in there. That seems... that seems totally safe. And looks like we gotta pull out... more stuff out of the walls. Alright, so I think I need to actually stick these together in order to get enough height for me to actually move in there. Uh -huh. Got him! Oh, hi! There's another one! Ow, that was very poorly timed. <laughs> or I gonna shoot you with through your shield, okay. That that totally works. Excellent. Um, this is something I gotta break. Okay, got some stakes. We're gonna back off for a second. Did that break it? No, no, it didn't. Oh, wait, no, that's not. Oh, I thought that was. Um, never mind. That's not. Uh, that's not like. Um, cracked. That's just. A gate. So. Alright. Uh, we need to come at this from another side, it looks like. Alright, we need to get the light to that. That'll open it so we can get to the thunder thing. So. Can we. 
use these stakes to prevent those from moving. Uh, looks like the answer is probably yes. But what does it want us to do in here? Oh, is that a way down? Oh, um, oh, yes, it is. It's the same kind of a setup as the other place, it looks like. Let me guess, when they're in a specific spot, it'll open that gate. Right? No? Ah! I used the stake to stop it from moving when it has that reveal. Is that enough? I might be. Yes, it is. Oh. It is enough. Just enough. And the light can then go up. And then I can use that to beam it across to the other one. I'm glad I did that um, shrine with stakes, because I would not have understood how this was supposed to work otherwise. Uh, and that would make me annoyed. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can then pick up... Was there a mirror here? I thought there was. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> Opens the gate, and then we can go hit the thing with the thunder. Bingo banga boomo, we are done with puzzle number one. Riju, where are you? I swear to God, if this is a repeat of the water temple, I'm going to be mad. Does she, like, not know how to get over here? Oh, she's she's stuck hey, back there, isn't she? We can get past now. Just in case, yeah. Okay, she was stuck back there because I had not fully opened the way. Got it. One. So this is one of the batteries. It seems to have absorbed my lightning well enough. Three more to go. All right, three left. I mean, the good news is that the boss, I think, is going to be fairly straightforward. It's just getting there is going to be a pain. All right, now. Where does it want me to go now? We've got some other spots for light, I think. Like right there. not a way forward, I don't think. I 
I don't think. I guess we're going to find out in a minute, though. What floor are we on now? I'll leave that area to you, Link. Uh, fifth floor. All right, so... How do we open the way up for her? Okay, so that's a movable one. So this is... We're going to move these to shoot the light in a specific area. All right. But we don't have our initial light source yet. Uh, let's blow that out of the way and see if that gives us an answer. Probably not. Nope. I bet it just makes it so we can move that in the first place. Ah! There's our initial lights over there. So, right there is our initial light source, it looks like. Room of natural light. Wait, have we been in here before? This looks familiar. A little bit. Now, I think what I would like to do is we are going to stand this on its end. And then that, I'm hoping is enough to get that to shoot through. It's tall enough. Yep, it's tall enough to make it through the gap. And then that means we can move that there. We move this there. Right? That where it wants us to go with that? Ah, we gotta move it just a, just a hair closer. Boom, another one. So where does that take us? Uh, okay, so we'll have to come back for the other ones. The other ones, I think, are going to go to other areas. Not entirely sure where. Switch to move it to the side, and now we're into a new zone. With more light! Room of Offered Light. Uh-oh. Raw, raw, raggy. I'm gonna need some help. I'm trying to take out the weak ones first. Oh, hi! It's Kibdos. Cool. I, um, I needed, I needed more. Fighting the Gibdos, you stupid constructs. That would be really helpful. Oh, there's a hive. Shit. We gotta get that out of here. Oh, that works for me. He's down there. He's no longer... Oh, well, actually, no, it's a la It's a stairs, so actually he is still my problem. Oh, they are helping. Okay. That's 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 cool. I'm, I'm just going to kill you all, though. Can we get rid of this dude, please? 
Oh, I had my fucking bow out. God damn it. That was a stupid death. That was a really stupid death. All right, well, good news is it brings me right here. We are just going to go ahead and get started. Just take out the Gibdos Hive right off the bat. Y'all just going to stand there? I'm cool with this. God, that's fun. Okay, well that was, um, certainly a thing. Why didn't you just take damage and get stunned, sir? That wasn't fair. Now I got my shield out. Promise. <laughs> sir, I'm trying to parry you. I need you to attack. Or I can just keep circling you like this if you're not gonna. Ah, uh, I tried to get the parry. I got it on frame one of the Hive's vulnerability window. That's pretty awesome. Can we please just kill that damn thing? Thank you. Thank you. Every once in a while, I get lucky with some hits, Kirby. It's not often, but sometimes. And there's times when people throw frisbees at me and I just go, Ugh. Friggin' frisbees. Friggin' geese! Who let them in here? Alright, so now it looks like it's mostly safe in here. We got ourselves a light pillar. Um, bows are nice. Uh, where does it want me to put the light? Let's get up on some platforms and we'll look around. Okay, so we've got ourselves a hot air balloon. It wants me to put the light over here. Okay. Where's the mirror? Or does it want me to use a mirror shield in this case? I mean, I guess I could probably just grab the mirror. Oh, that is just a straight-up mirror. Okay. All right. Here's how we're going to play this. I guess I can't grab those for whatever reason. Ah, there we go. So we're basically, I think I'm just going to stair-step this stuff up here for right now. And I think that that might be the most efficient way for me to do it. I don't know if that's correct, but we're going to try it. And I realize, actually, I need to bond that with the platform or I'm not going to be able to move the whole thing. All right, now is that close enough for me? I think I can now move it from up there. I think, I think I'm close enough. Um, let's bring it over here. 
We're going to reposition it so that it is in the right spot with the the mirror. Okay, maybe not. Um, not done yet. That should do it, right? Like that. Riju, where are you? Where are you, Riju? Uh, there you are. That's the two or three. I think it's two. Two more left, Link. Let's hurry. Perfect. Two more to go. All right. So let's get out of here and see where else we can go. You would have flipped the whole thing upside down. Eh, whatever, it works. It's kind of where I'm at at this point. So the, uh, but the two we've got left, we need to get all the way up to, it looks like the sixth floor to get that one. And then this one is on the first floor behind that door. Um, okay. So I guess here's my question. What's stopping me from using Ascend to just keep going up and up and up to get to the sixth floor? That That's kind of where I'm curious about because that's kind of what I've been doing for a lot of this. So if I just do this... What stops me from doing this all the way to the sixth floor? This would be three, right? Four. Five. Okay, so the oh oh there's not something that stops me from getting to the sixth floor. Alright, so we're on floor oh no, we're still on floor five. Alright. So we still need to get up a little bit higher. Okay. Oh no, this is the seventh floor. Okay. Room of Glorious Light. So, can I use this to glide down to the sixth floor? Okay. That's something we've got to open. And that's how you get to that one. So you gotta hit this, it'll push it back to reveal a switch, and then you hit the switch and you go out. All right, so I have it's kind of the right idea. I'm just not entirely sure how to get it, get the light there, unless it's this. Yep, that's angled up. So it's, it's this setup that gets me over there. Okay, so. Then where does this get light from? All right, I feel like that that's still the central puzzle is going over that way. So let's check out that room again. 
and see if I can make some adjustments to where the mirror is to potentially change where the light goes. Oh, nope, don't want to do that. I want to do this. Can I make any changes? Not really. I could, however, grab more mirrors. So I can't change the direction that, that light goes, but I can pull the mirrors. And I can change where they're looking. Like so. I don't want to mess with that. So I don't want to mess with that positioning because that's a that's a perfect spot. I think. We're just gonna do that. Oh. Well, shit. Oh, that's actually really close. Okay. I was really close for that. Now, I just gotta get this aligned so that it'll point at the other one, and then I just gotta re-angle the light again. That's probably the right spot. So I just need to turn it a little bit to the left. All right. Is that gonna do it? No, I gotta turn it more. Because I probably need to get this out of the way. Can I just get next to this? Can I aim it from here? Oh, I'm in the way. Yes! Oh, this is, I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, so if I get up on this, I think I might be able to just to ascend to where I'm trying to get. The second mirror wasn't necessary. Eh. It worked. It did what I needed to do. I think the second mirror was probably intended, but it wasn't required. Oh, this is going to be fun later. Because I just noticed there's a lot of Gibdos hives in there. Not intended? Okay. Well, I figured it out. That's the important part. Ooh. Oh, this looks not fun. my very own Mission Impossible nonsense. Alright, so now I gotta open the door, I guess. To let, uh, Riju in, right? Come on! Get you in here! Stop hiding in Unobo. Three! All right, so there's one more to go. Okay, only one more battery to go. Which is the one behind the door on the first floor. All right. Huh. 
how do they want us to get in there? I feel like it's another light puzzle. That make that seems obvious. But can I see where it's supposed to be putting us? Or where that comes out at? Ooh, that's useful. Well, that's really useful. Wish I'd seen that before. All right, so where are... Are there any more things that we haven't seen in terms of, like, light opening? Something about robbers. Okay, that's the, the turn wheel thing. Let's look at our map real quick. Um, there's no addition. Oh, no, that's just the way out. All right. So there's no additional ways into that room as far as we can see. Except me. Uh, uh, am I supposed to ascend? I think I may be supposed to ascend from B1. Okay. Okay. Let's pop back, because um, there have been places that we could have potentially dropped, but we didn't go into them, um, because I wasn't sure what was going on there. I figured I would come back to those. So, this takes us back down to B1. Is there a way we can circle around and get beneath that area? Like this? Ha ha! We're inside. All right. So now where's the way to open the door? Ah! Really? Was that accessible from the get-go like that? I don't remember seeing anything, but I also didn't. I don't think I looked. Number four. All right, we've charged all of the batteries with lightning. I didn't think the check. Okay, fair enough. That should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go, Link. My way worked, though. It was cute, and I'm okay with it. I'm curious how anybody was ever supposed to get in here when they built the damn thing, though. There's no door opener. All right, um, I think I'm going to eat none. Actually, I'm going to eat and eat this to give myself some heat resistance because we're going outside. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Uh. What is... Link, I think this platform is about to move. Damn right it is. Onward and upward. This will take us up to floor seven. Where the Gibdos hives are. Mm hmm? Something is shining over there. And this is, ah, this is why we couldn't go all the way to the top. We just couldn't fly up there because we're not actually outside. That's why. That makes more sense. Okay, so do they just want us to take out the hives?
All right, so there is light coming down that's being blocked by the hives. Was there... Oh, I didn't look up high enough to see the purple thing. Whoops. Give those queen round two. Let's go. God, you're big and ugly. Let's go. We'll finish it off here and now. Yes, ma'am. Let's do it. I don't know if that's really the right word for that, Riju. I don't think cornered is the right word at all. Oh, it got it got healed. That's lame. Are you okay? Ow, my face. It hurts. All of it. You know what? Well, if we're not going to be outside, I don't need to worry about putting on specific gear, which means I can put on um, what actually I am wearing my strongest gear right now. Shit. That's, um, that sucks. No! Okay, so I can't block any of that shit. God damn. Ah, crap. Here, we're, we're doing this nonsense again. Okay. Ow. This fight is not going well. Well, when in doubt, take a fucking bomb arrow to the face. No, really? Oh, it's, it's weakened now. Cool. All right, well, if that's the case, we're going to go ahead and eat one of these. Aww. Ah! Are you okay? Fucking Mike screwed me on that one. I'm trying to get the damn mic adjusted while it's charging at me. <laughs> Phase two. All right, here we go. Yay, helpers! Summoning. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay. All right, how do I want to? How do I want to play this? I'm doing my best. Oh, I need a bow. Thank you. Oh shit, that is a sniping bow. Um, let's go for whatever the next best bow is then. Best bow. All right, so my plan is to get rid of the hives. Oh, it's killing the Gibdos. They don't like the light. Shit. That's helpful. That's actually super helpful. Ah! I don't care about stealth up. Oh god, those things are so fast and scary! That's two. I'm gonna focus on getting the hives out of here first. That's the best thing to do. 
Once the hives are out, then I can focus on getting the adds and I can focus on getting the queen afterwards. I hope. Oh, did I not get it? It must have been when it wasn't releasing shit. Ow. There we go. Got it. No, no, no. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Oh, cute. Horses ass. Okay, all four of them are down. Are you stupid enough to come in here? Ah! Where's the big one? There it is. It's up there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Ah, tornadoes! Let's just get these ones out of here. Uh, I, I'm gonna eat some food just because I'm a little iffy about... ...getting hit. Oh, could you all, like, fucking help, please? Water does it too? That is not something I expected. I did not expect water to actually work. It was technically an accident that I did that. Oh, I missed. Got her! Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep shooting her. Because the lightning is way easier to hit her with. Are you are you like stock lady? Oh, she's limping. Oh! That's cool. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, missed. Oh, she got knocked out of it. Okay. That was close! Alright, let's finish this one off. Alright, there it is. We're just going to back off, let those spread out. <laughs> I think we got her this time. Gibdo Queen exterminated. Outstanding. I'm officially up to ten hearts. Ten hearts. Well, I will be up to ten hearts in about twenty seconds. Oh, wait. Yeah, ten hearts. Yeah, ten. Okay. What is that? That, Riju, is, uh... Is going to be your calling. As a, uh... As a sage. Uh, 
Outstanding. Got it. Read you. Mm. Beloved daughter of the Gerudo. Uh, I know that voice. You're the one who's been talking all this time. Yes, your ancestor from a time long past. I was a Gerudo warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Gerudo. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. Okay, so the Gibdos did do the Sand Shroud. The monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? We'll fill you in later. <laughs> Don't worry. You will understand soon enough. Let me tell you of events in our distant past. The events that shaped our people's destiny during the imprisoning war. We're going to get the same dialogue again, I expect, only it's just going to be from her long, perspective. Long, long ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, A great evil, the Demon King, emerged. He attacked the innocent and sought the destruction of Hyrule. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monk. Yeah, because he's a Gerudo, Rome, that's right. The first king of Hyrule and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. We face the Demon King. But only after Raru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with my own secret stone. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. No. He endured He's got his stones, own secret stone, though. Even the lightning strike. I just noticed that Ganondorf has something in his head that looks exactly like theirs. He lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the imprisoning war. Okay. So Ganondorf has the same power of the Secret Stones. Another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and she set the Gerudo on our destined path. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. Now I just noticed comes, Zelda's got one too. You must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power, the Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. We are responsible for his very existence in this world, and for that we must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsmen. Huzzah! And now I have told you all I can of the Imprisoning War and of our people's destiny. You have saved Gerudo Town. But the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. You must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Mm -hmm. Fight alongside the Swordsman. I think we'll make a pretty good team. So it's my destiny to fight by your side. Hmm. 
My destiny as a sage, my duties as chief, and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down this so-called demon king. I guess it's time to claim my destiny. Chris hated teammates. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, Apoc. Cute earring. You just need one on the other side now. I am the sage of lightning. Witness this new power I possess. Shit! Showing off, huh? Okay, she looks kind of she looks badass with the glowing eyes like that on hers. Link, give me your hand. I don't know if the other ones do it too, but she just looks like a badass that way. I read you. The Sage of Lightning. Swear that I will stand with you. And here, as proof of my vow. Okay, so that's going to awaken another part of our our rings. So there are five rings. We have gotten four of them. Right? Yeah, there's a spot for another ring. <laughs> the middle finger is left. upon my power whenever you need it <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you okay should we head back to town how perfect would it be if the middle finger is like the most powerful of the powers because I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be more like there has to be like why would you do it that way like if you're gonna do it with only four as far as rings you would leave off the, I, I would imagine the thumb but no, they already have the thumb. The only thing left is the middle finger. And we're just going to give the finger to Ganondorf, aren't we? <laughs> and now that clears the sand shroud, right? Nice. Exciting! Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, Link. I am grateful to you for helping me save the Gerudo. I've received reports that ever since the Sa Sand Shroud dissipated, Gibdo's attacks have almost entirely stopped. Oh. It will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it's thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. On behalf of the Gerudo people, thank you! You're welcome. I am sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. Hmm. Actually, Buliara, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just happens to look like Zelda, that doesn't explain everything that's been going on. But it's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule, and that terrible events follow her. 
The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past are incredibly similar. Hmm. If the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who is this other person? We must uncover her true identity. Hmm. I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gibdos has passed, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on the task of searching this area for any sign of Zelda. Hmm. And with my newfound power as a sage, I will be able to support you. I swear that I will do anything I can to help. Vow of Riju, Sage of Lightning. Oh. Link, you said that you had already visited Rito Village, Goron City, and Zora's Domain. I'm sure Lookout Landing would value any information you could share. Why not go there and see if that you can help? So. I hope your travels bring you back here again, Link. I look forward to such a reunion. I mean, considering we have accomplished that quest, the quest was to check out all the areas and then come back. I think we're I think we've accomplished that, so Yeah. Regional phenomena has been complete. So let's head back to Lookout Landing and see what uh, Pur has got for us. I hope it's something, because I'm, I'm out of ideas if she doesn't. All right, Pearl, what you got for me? Hopefully it's some good news. You're, you're, you're not in here. Okay, cool. You're downstairs. And the door shuts in my face. Are, are you... Where, where? Oh, you're up higher, aren't you? Hurry, you're being annoying. Why aren't you in your office? I'm just going to go all the way to the top, because that's probably where she is. Yep, there she is. Hi, Pura. I did the thing. Linky, I heard what happened. The major cold front that descended upon the Reno and the marbled rock roast that the Gorons couldn't get enough of. Then there was the sludge contaminating the Zorus water, and finally the Gerudo menaced by Gibdos and a Sand Shroud. Mm -hmm. You faced some serious challenges, and you overcame all of them. Well done, Link. So the person resembling Princess Zelda was behind the scenes for all of the phenomena, as you discovered. This has to be related to the upheaval somehow. And I have something important to share as well. Hmm? Uh-oh. Bad News Bear is coming along. Oh, crap. Oh, this is a cutscene Blood Moon. Uh-oh. Oh, this can't be good at all. Is this like a permanent Blood Moon? Isn't that... You see Link, Zelda, don't look you? At this. Quickly. Oh shit, it is. Oh, she looks very unhappy. Her stone is also glowing. But why? And she's gone. I think we need to get up there. I think we need to get up there. Huh? Linky, did you see that? That was the princess, wasn't it? I was going to share that I saw a figure that looked an awful lot like Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle. I wasn't sure at first, but now I am. I thought she'd left the castle entirely, but she was inside. We have to hurry and rescue her. The soldiers and I can't reach Hyrule Castle as it is now. You might be the only one who can do it. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Link. I know it's always I'm always throwing you into dangerous situations, but you really are the only one up to the task. Please come back in one piece. That applies to both you and the princess. Got it? Regional phenomena complete. Well, damn. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to get up to uh, Hyrule Castle. I think we're gonna have to fly up there. I think that's the only way we're gonna pull this off, folks. Uh, because, uh, yeah, I don't think I can climb up there. But I think our return to Hyrule Castle is going to have to wait for our next episode, everyone. Uh, just because that looks rather dangerous, and I think we might need to prepare just a little bit. So, thanks for being here as, as we finally fumbled our way through getting to the Lightning Temple and completing all four of the Sage Quests. I look forward to seeing you here for the next episode. Take care.